Second will be the Rebel Film Production, The Unfinished Cupcake. Uh, to start off with Royal Flamingo Production, I would like to call upon the director, Mr. Jason, to explain about it. And I'm joying to come up with it. Thank you, Satish. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for coming to our BNCC screening today. I'm Joyen, the producer of this team. And the title of our short film is called Scripted. Jason will further explain the short film and also our technical difficulties during the filming. Thank you. Jason. Alright, uh, good evening everyone. First off, I'd like to thank everyone for coming here today. It was a really great pleasure. I really did not expect this many people. Especially, thank you so much uh, to our special guest, Star Comedy. It was really good. I, I, I thought I said I was coming here, so yeah. Anyway, uh, basically, the aim of this film is uh, basically we just want to give out a message to everyone. We just want to say that uh, everything affects everything. That means, like, no, even the smallest things that you do, it can actually cause, like, uh, Let's say you, you look at a calm water, it's like there's nothing moving, right? But even a tiny bit of drop water that drops into it, and then there's ripples all around it. So that's what we are trying to portray in this film. And also, yeah. And then, like, if you, if you do anything, like, let's say you talk bad about someone, it doesn't have to be that bad, but maybe that person is going through a tough time. And then uh, that person is trying really, really hard to achieve their dreams. But if you say anything, Slightly negative, it could cause a side effect, but now of course, of course, not everyone is that sensitive, like, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, we do have to look at what we do and what we say, and also, you know, uh, what we all should know is that uh, I think you all should know that actually, originally, I wasn't the original film director. I I was just ordinary sound man, and then what happened was that uh, towards like the end of the semester. Our original director and two other uh, uh, crew of our team. Now, what happened is that they decided to ditch us. <laughs> so, from an ordinary sound man, I was promoted all the way to director. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so anyway, I hope that you all do enjoy uh, the film, although there are a lot of technical difficulties. So, yeah, thank you very much. For being <laughs>
by the Royal Flamingo Productions. Yeah. Now we will give it to the judges to uh, their feedback on the short film, starting from Mr. Dua. So we really do uh, appreciate. We don't mind if they're negative because no matter what, it's always going to be constructive for us and it will help us. We don't regret the challenges that we face. In fact, we are happy that we, uh, we have come across this even though, let's say maybe, truth be told, we are not satisfied with our work, but even so, we, we do not regret uh, doing this badly because by doing this badly, we're actually learning something and we can actually look forward to improving our future work uh, later on. So we really do appreciate it. There are uh, feedback, uh, so uh, thank you. So anyone has any? Okay, can I just say, overall, it's not that bad. Is it that um, uh, is it bad? Very bad, I just say. So basically, I think if you ask me, just to work on the audio a bit more, I think you should listen back when I play because background music was kind of loud, transition-wise and story-wise. I think we'll do it a bit better. One thing that I really liked though was um, the father. He he really did give his emotions there. You can see that he was really emotional. I liked his portrayal. On that, it wasn't, and as I say, it wasn't that bad. It was not as easy as you think to make a short film yeah. for someone who's done it before. I've done it before. I suffered a lot. So, yeah. yeah, it is. But yeah, it's cool. Thank you guys. Right, thank you so much. <laughs> we should show his work. We should show his work. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I, I don't know what happened and all that, but uh, I just want to say I'm glad that you went through those struggles because you will face those struggles when you are in the industry itself. These things happen all the time. It's not pretty much what happened, but how you get up from those struggles that's very important. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Yeah, 
yeah, the show must go on. I think even in you know performing arts here. Yeah. So I think in this case you have to accompany something. But I, it, it's good that you guys, you know, you just went ahead and, and, and you know you still did it. Why not? But I think at the end of the day, you have to remember that a production is still production, and um, you have to set standards for yourself, even though you have all those issues. Number one, story. Your story will be really cliche. Okay, so you need to move away from those cliches. Um, I was just telling you, Jenny, we're seeing a lot of endings with committing you know, commit suicide. I'm getting a bit worried here. We might be sending this to us right now. <laughs> but, um, I'm, and I'm saying this, you know, coming from a good place because you are now in the degree program. So sometimes the idea that we see is still very much complete foundation or diploma level. So you need to move away from that. So stay away from stereotypes and stay away from cliche stories. We're looking for originality. We're looking for freshness and ideas. And you guys come from the generation that we are hoping to deliver something fresh. I think even college as well. Yeah, that's why they're encouraging students to come in and say something. Yeah. Um, okay. The other thing is very important for everybody, everyone else yeah, who's going to be doing the even for the seniors. Yeah. If you it doesn't matter whether you're Olga Della, Lardy, Kapoor, but the moment that you have to act in front of camera, please make sure that your acting chops are up to a certain standard. If you're going to act as a mother, you have to at least transform into a mother, motherly role. Because it looks like Frida, for example, it looks like Frida. She's not here. She's not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mystic of makeup, styling, you know, those kind of things. Um, so it's basic, actually, you know? So whatever the role that you have to play, you gotta transform into <coughs> those roles. Okay, it's commonsensical stuff, very important, yeah? You gotta convince us, because at the end of the day, this will still require an audience, yeah? So if you have to act, please make it very, very um, realistic as possible. So do the makeup, and do whatever necessary, makeup, hair, cost costume, you name it, yeah? But other than that, it was a very, very good effort. I'm really proud of you guys. But which is why I'm very impressed. It's a very good job. But one thing I didn't like about it is your camera is too still. I suggest you should move a little bit more of your camera's actions. I think it's shaky, not impressions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's more about the camera side. The rest of, the, the rest of it, the lecturer, has already, um, she has at least mentioned it. So yeah, good work, guys. Thank you. Towards the development of the scene. Okay? And most of the shot, 
to stay on the weekend shop. <coughs> like, actually, that is when the father scold him in the room. The family a lot of close up. So he he looked more tense, but he didn't stay close shot. Okay, that's why you see, I check on close up. How many of you like we put in develop and develop that the close up shot? Okay? Most of you stay in the close shot. Okay, if this is a thing you can stay in close shot. Close shot. Okay, but similarly you have to play a lot of close up. Right? And one thing I'd like to comment first which is, of course, in terms of the uh, camera work. Um, to begin with, yeah, it's shaky, more like shivering. Actually, if you would like to have a smoother images in the moving pages, you can use the stabilizer Where's yours? to stabilize the shots, so it won't be like shiver. Okay, otherwise you can you know, try to argue that, yeah, it's a very tense uh, uh, situations of the common things to fly, but however, I think you can use um, stabilizer okay, in post-production. Um, yes, again, um, flat uh, in terms of lighting. Yeah, if you know it's in the water, you tell the light is in the light. And um, I would like to comment on sound. In terms of sound, not just the dialogue, Okay, but the music, because um, I can see that almost like every single scene is changed the background music. That's a fact of a you know, as a spectator, a lot, a lot. Okay, I understand that you're trying to use music to illustrate or to tell the emotional bits of the characters. However. The changes of the music, the transition is too fast for us to just absorb the storytelling. So that has to be careful. You don't have to, you don't necessarily to change the things like a different background music to enhance your story. And uh, I would like to say that it's uh, almost a situation of abusing the music as your background uh, uh, storytelling enhancement. Okay, and uh, also the sounds, um, especially in terms of dialogue, the echo, yeah, you have to perhaps, uh, maybe it's a skeleton who you can have the proper sound guy to check the sounds and the levels, everything is that, uh, or boom mic, you have to put plates in the proper manner to record the sound. Um, after sound, I want to also comment on production design. Uh, it's true that uh, Mr. Dua mentioned about the character development is not strong enough. So one thing, if you're um, having problems, you you know, um, in terms of uh, looking for characters to, to tell the story, like how this kid, you know, tends to really he, he really is into art. So um, and and right now it's like facing these problems. Okay, so. Um, and yes, you do deliver some uh, work and whatnot, even, but an artist, okay, this is in terms of mise en scène. Yeah, a characteristic not just uh, you know reflect true or how he reacts or how he dresses, how he appears to people, but the surrounding, maybe his room, the decorations, she tells he is indeed very into um, art, drawing, painting. Okay, what the, the, the painting shows in the gallery, it's not reflecting his characteristic at all. Okay, and also dining table, you were saying that the father is a lawyer, which is three dishes and um, others. You, you get what I mean in terms of production design, this is very important. And also, I know that you're trying to achieve uh, the, the, like, the, the angle to, you know, um, try to hide you know, there's no not much of an audience when he's receiving the awards. Careful with the reflection you can see try to the reflection. It's also another thing about production design. 
And uh, casting, casting is great in Fox and I know you like uh, very limits of time to complete the, the short film and you have to um, act as well. Well, this is already mentioned, it's casting, it's to be convincing. So, um, yeah, I think uh, that's uh, for me, that's basically uh, a Okay, uh, we're at the end, near the end of our uh, review today. We are now finals will be by uh, the Rebel Film called The Unfinished Cup. I'd like to invite the director of the film to pro give a few words. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Satish Anasantian and I am the director of The Unfinished Cupcake. Before I start, I would like to thank the judges and also ICP lecturer and principal. Thank you so much for coming for our screening because it really means a lot for us. So thank you so much for coming for our screening. And also... <laughs> so guys, you, really, you guys really made the event very nice. Don't cry, don't cry. Okay, so uh, let me explain about the movie. So, um, before I start up, um, I mean, we get to know that we have to do a short film, around to five minutes. I did a small research regarding of uh, what is previous ICT's video, what kind of genre and what kind of story they were taking in. And I wanted to stand up for them and do something different and also take some risk in terms of the story. So, we took the element of local uh, gangster, which is Botachi, Mr. Wong Suichi. He's the only gangster that was caught alive by the police. So, and also known as the Malaysian <laughs> Robin Hood. When, uh, when I explain about this story, and uh, I, uh, I explain it to my crew, I say that I don't want to talk about his, uh, his uh, gangsterism life or what. Uh, I want to take a different approach which why he became a gangster. So that is basically the film we'll be explaining to you guys. And also, we were, we take a different take in terms of our film as how we want to approach the audience in terms of the story, the element, cinematography, and also the screenplay. We took risks in terms of... Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on. We love you! Okay, we took a lot of risks in terms of because uh, the, the entire crew is not experienced. So, but then as a director, I boost their confidence and then I push forward and I get them. Because I believe as a student in a institute platform, you are allowed to do mistakes. So therefore, you can learn a bit more, furthermore, into the depth of the film. So. Thank you very much to my entire crew for believing in my story and also joining <laughs> to my this project and also I would like to thank the talent that we choose outside uh, and my friends. Thank you so much for believing in my story and also believing in the project and joining the project and also IACT diploma and degree student. Thank you so much guys. I was very too excited, I did the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, now we play the trailer, the short film, and a little surprise for the my crew and entire diploma and degree student and the panel. A small surprise. So yeah. Please la, Santi should have anything small. <laughs> yeah. So.
interrupting a small disclaimer, the talent that we use in this short film is all familiar faces. So, I mean, they took, they come from the comfort zone and then they take a different role out from their personality. So you might laugh and everything, you will interrupt the audience focus towards the film. So, please control your emotion, huh? <laughs>
this be in your warm arms again. Because so that they will do mistake and they will learn out from it. Because if I tell them, I brief them everything, they will be going on the right side and they wouldn't know what is what would be going wrong. So that was the initial thing that I tell them. It's okay if anything because there's a lot of stuff that have did not go according to our plan. So I brief them as a student, you are allowed to do mistake. It's okay to do mistake because that is when it's a very good uh, way to uh, learn something out of you know and. Basically, most of them they have not much of experience, not uh, pro not even to say professional, not even beginner experience, but they still try to do something. And 
for me, I felt that the, at least their the initiative is there. So what I did is, is just a simple, basic, like, just push them to the pool without letting them know what, uh, what's the depth or what's in the pool or anything. So that they, you know, it will be easy for them. Not easy, they will learn more from them. Uh, from their life. So that's why, that's what I really to them. So don't, don't worry or don't be scared to take risks because this is the part in your life that you can do a lot of risk and do a lot of mistakes because you are allowed to because you are a student and you can learn out from it. That's the basic rule like, as I put it. So it would be easy for you guys. I mean if you have no it's not doable. If somebody like say because most of the risk that they take is like the, especially the climax scenes, it was too dark and we don't want to go more beyond than that. But then I say it's like it's okay now mind worst come to worst people will comment that's all but they will remember me for that climax scene now. I took that approach to that because previously nobody everyone was staying in their comfort zone in the safe zone they were not coming up from their comfort zone so that's the thing now do not worry to take risks let's say that someone is listening to speak about this and they mistakes it's good it's always good to have competition and enemy because that is where you're going to learn because if anybody like criticized by my film or uh, my story or my approach into uh, how I took into the film, that's going to be my stepping stone so that I don't repeat or I'll take that I'm listening to them. If they hate me, it's okay, it doesn't matter. As long as that person is not useful for me, it's okay lah. If useful means I'll like try to manage in a different approach lah. <laughs> but either way, always look at enemy is the best side because if you don't have enemy, you'll be staying in the same zone. You wouldn't move it further. So that's very important. Make more. I mean, not to make more. I mean, just. Be sure that you have a meeting. How do you balance between what the audience wants and make a film that satisfies? As a director, you always need to have your own, and uh, you always need to have your because it's not always about what I need to satisfy the audience. As a director, what I want to tell the audience, I want the audience to think creatively because this is a short film. I'm not premiering a film to tell message directly. So I allow the floor to them to think in creative way what could have happened, what is it, why is that. So that if argument pick up, that is where I feel like I'm, I, I succeed because if I tell the message directly, it's just going to be very bland. If argument, people start to question me, people ask me why I do this, why I do that, that means you're doing, you're doing the right uh, approach now. So make, make sure that, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Anyone else have a question? Yeah. 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 This is good and well done. Good job. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> and, and it is really, really amazing. Uh, yeah, I think it's very cool. There's one thing I would have done is uh, more blood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because we, I can see guys putting so much effort in the whole production. Like the fight scene, like your club just went to like, you know, because you really have the blood done, it just flush it all over. Yeah, it's just, it's new, it's, you know, all the other things were so realistic. The fight scene was a big jagged because yeah. especially when it's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to mention it took like eight things for the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the only problem I had was 
the footage from the drone and your camera footage, the, the color balancing was is 4K. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so you know, there's actually a feature for me to change the quality because it's 4K. That's right. So maybe you could have, like, I don't know, maybe like those similar with 7 can be a 100. Yeah. Okay. You just know what you're talking Because it was so, there's such a stark difference. It's like 4K and then suddenly there's 7 can be a 100. Yeah. 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 Yeah, If you're going to do something, go all out. Yeah. You know, like I saw the bunch of scenes that you all did. Um, the thing is because the, our requirement is only to do five minutes, and okay. I did edit it to until five minutes because I did not like it. So that's why I took a risk. I did it until. <laughs> <laughs>
what I felt is as a crew, they should, uh, I mean, mainly I was focusing more into the crew, they need to get up from their comfort zone. And actors were mostly uh, those who are familiar and those who are in-house characters, that means from the colleges itself. So to take a different approach, initially they did not agree. So I had to do, like brief them about the story and then brief them about the character. Get, uh, I had to get them out. Because basically most of them would be the like, serious character. I think they are very enjoyable and friendly character in general. So I briefed them like, uh, we did a briefing session and everything, and then I explained to them the story and then the screenplay and everything. And I had, I felt that that moment was very important to get them out to do something new, and also get them to com be comfortable in the role itself. Or else, if they were, if they still keeping their own characteristic, I don't think so. It would be reflected very well in the film itself. And yes. Okay, uh, I think that answers your question whatever you wanted to know. Uh, so we'll now pass it over to the judges to... Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm so scared! And, something in Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I just want to give credit. Okay, uh, as I see your, your artwork, I asked if this, is it. this one is the first flash. Yeah, this is uh, first uh, first semester. Yeah. Uh, Brandon and Joanne first semester. Uh, and Sudhis, I and Brandon first and and Sudhis is first and Brandon and I in second semester. All right. No, uh, it look like you you give you know, all out for the production, and this look like you try to make it for your final project semester. Okay. So because usually I see this kind of effort uh, artwork is in the final. Uh, semester of diploma. Okay, because we give a 30 minutes uh, short films. You get a 5 minutes, but because you walk into making a film, and then you make it to 10 minutes. That's why, as I see the overall short story, it looks like a lot of deleted scenes. Something that. Some, because you focus more on the fine things. Okay, the development of that, that characters look like it's just lack of something that you did shoot but you didn't show. Okay, that's why the school said you try to develop on it, then some it's end on the bus stop, it's just the cupcake. Uh, it, it's like you try to develop more towards the, the uh, what we call what's the metaphor? No, 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 the, the main thing is the main walk. Okay, we walk uh, on the, 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 the kid uh, flashback. Okay, something for me is more on the script, but when you translate it's less. Okay? But good effort on the trailer, okay? It's this the audience to, to, to watch your films, okay? Uh, good opening on the, because you give a uh, the scene on the opening, I like that, but only probably you try your best on the choreograph. Uh, Who's on the choreograph? Sorry? Who's on the choreograph? Sorry? Who's on the choreograph? Sorry? 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 Okay, so you, you did you try your best to do the uh, that fighting yes. as well as you can, but the only the, the cameraman and the, the camera shot they much more role to hide the likeness of the uh, talents. Okay, but you see when the fighting scene, uh, this final uh, video is you cut in twenty five frames per second or twenty five. Twenty-five. So on the fighting scene or the car chase, you see it happens twenty-four. So it's more look realistic on the car. Okay. okay. So that one usually you try to do that on YouTube. They give you all the tips on the fighting scene. Most of the editing is actually by YouTube tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Be careful on the color correction when you cut jump between scene to scene. It's like some is bluish and something. Some is. The fight is very difficult because... Uh, it's look like a different kind of perspective camera shot. Yeah. Okay? Uh, okay, I, I like the development of the characters. At least, at the end, is it that mom is dead or anything about what? Uh, that's the thing. We didn't really know, we just assume it. Okay, it looks like you have more, it's like a portion from a, a bigger film. We just show a little bit here and there, and people try to see more present at the fighting scenes. Okay? Uh, the 1980, the, 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 the rape the, the scenes, okay? The costume, who's choosing the costume for the, the, the guy? Is it? Okay. Is it to represent the 1982 scene? Okay, it's good because you take care of it. 
because it's not like because I don't want you put nineteen ninety two and the the all the you you throw shirts right. <laughs> okay, then you take your chance to cast on most of your table first before you shoot. So that's why I said you guys all out for the production. Then it is good for your learning experience. Okay, I, I need you guys to be more back then after this semester. Okay, downside, I like this. <laughs> Uh, well, I think I've mentioned quite a lot of things when you are here to ask me questions. Uh, yeah, similarly to what uh, Mr. Tuan mentions about um, the shots, you notice that the colors, the time of the day is different during the party. Some is weird the color, some is the time of the day. And also, you were mentioning about the overexposure, the sky, the overexposure. Oh, okay, the light. Um, sky. Yeah, because uh, the entire flight seems to be not very consistent in terms of um, color correction. Yeah, we can perhaps improve on that. And um, also, uh, uh, what I was trying to say is. Uh, I noticed that there are certain uh, scenes from your, you know, moving from one scene to another, the sound, uh, it pops, yeah. like, suddenly. You can actually change the level to make it, like, fade in. You can adjust the fade in just a few frames before entering, so the sound will pop out so sudden, like, you know, and, and it's loud. So <coughs> just try to do a minor uh, fade in. Okay. You, you know, the, yeah, the audio layers, you can adjust it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, I really love um, the ending. <laughs> okay, the ending, yeah, every shot, and also uh, I believe it's a dolly. Are you using dolly? It's just uh, cheaper. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. So um, it's very good. Um, I think, yeah, the students were, um, it's very good. Okay, um, that is all. That's our, our first ever uh, premiere. Spring screening? Spring screening, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you all for coming.